do you want to know what uh, keywords your competitors is using do you want to use those exactly keywords so that you can sell mo much more and you can even rank higher if yes is your answer stick to the end of the video because i am going to spill all the beans in this video hello everyone this is Priyanka the way here if you are new to the channel please go ahead and subscribe to my channel i am putting a lot of efforts to make sure that you are getting a lot from these my videos that i'm putting every single day for you guys so today in this video i'm going to talk about what keywords your competitors using because obviously if you are searching something in this particular search box and you are getting some results obviously you want to be on the top you do not want to be on the fourth page you want to be on the first page and on the first page if your competitor is lying over here they are selling tons of book every single day obviously you want you want to be at that place you want to sell a lot of ton, uh, tons of uh, books you want to make a lot of money right basically you want to take its place okay and to know its place to take its place it is important that you know what exactly this person is using so that i can even do like better right so for example i'm taking this book and let's suppose that this is your competitor stick to the end of the video because only picking up the keywords is not the way picking the right keywords is the way which is exactly i'm going to discuss in this video okay so what you have to do is you have to go ahead and you have to copy its asni number so let's go and here it is asni number copy it and you have to go ahead and you have to log in into this tool that is called helium 10 i have left the link in the description box you can go ahead and you can sign up from that link so once you have uh, signed up into this tool you will get to see a lot of options over here but the main option that you have to pay attention to is the keyword research it is obviously product research which we do not want listing optimization analytics obviously it is going to tell you the analytics but the important thing that we have to pay attention is the keyword research that is the cerebro and the magnet magnet is something which is direct okay i will show you how i use it as well but for most importantly that i would say is to pay attention to the seri pro and if you want to take the subscription you can take that too but it is not important i will tell you why in just a moment so stick to me okay so after taking that seri pro you will get to see such kind of uh, dashboard over here if you are a free user you will get two seri pro or two search uh, options for a single day but if you are uh, if you have upgraded then you can get unlimited searches okay so this is the first thing so obviously if you are starting out you can stick to the free plan but if you want to explore more you can go for unlimited plan okay now remember we have already copied this asi number once you have copied your competitor asi number you will go into this tool that is the seri pro and you will paste it okay once you have pasted it you will get keywords now it is fetching the data it will take a moment now you can see that this is your competitor this is the keyword distribution that is the total keywords is 8078 sponsored keyword is 4051 sponsored keywords are those keywords which is used while running ads they have run ad for such kind of keywords organic keywords is the keywords that are coming naturally that is coming without paying ads and 7, 775 are the amazon recommended keywords over here now what there are a lot of things you can see here but what i pay attention to when i use this tool is only three or four options the first one is search volume the second thing is competing product and the third thing is search volume cerebro iq score the more cerebro iq score better okay the list is not good the more the better okay search volume is how many uh, searches are being done for this particular keyword every single month okay this is the search volume and a competing products is the how many number of books are available for this particular keyword okay 
so are you getting my point so these are the three things that is the cerebro iq score search volume and comparating products is what i choose now remember from the keyword video i have already uh, attached the link in the description if you haven't watched it i had told you that i always choose the competing products less or equal to 1000 right but here the you can see the competitor is huge like 60000 50000 and so on so obviously we are not going to pick this one like this one but i am going to show you how you have to choose the keywords now i am saying you that what exactly you have to do while signing up to this tool also remember that i cannot use this one like organic rank or search volume from the free tool and i am using the free tool that's why i cannot use it but if you have upgraded you can go ahead and you can just limit it up to your uh, up to your like choices okay so what will i do here is i will scroll down and i will see the competing products which is less or equal to 1000 okay i will go ahead and i will see that okay this is 113 and it is volering books okay volering books it doesn't it does not mean that you will go ahead and you will copy it and you will put it in your keywords no you will not do it that's why i said you at the beginning of the video that choosing the right keywords is important even though if it is less than 1000 doesn't mean you will blindly pick it okay volering books does not make any sense right and that's why you can see there is no iq score and no search volume and no volume trend and nothing over here so do not just go ahead and do not pick it because it is not making any sense only pick those keywords which is relevant to your particular niche if you are picking mermaid coloring book you have to pick those keywords which is which has competing product less than e or equal to 1000 and which is making sense not just random okay so volaring books it is 113 obviously i am not going to pick it up i will go ahead more and then i can see that coloring books fear kids fear kids is not making any sense to me so obviously this is not good the next one is coloring books so obviously it is not going to make any sense so i will not pick it up and you can see this is all like the complete first page is done but we haven't got any uh keyword which is less than or equal to thousand and if we have got like four to five it is not making sense so obviously i haven't picked up if you want to go for like two or three pages you have to go for the upgraded version okay so obviously you are not going to uh, get to two or three pages in the like free version so make sure that if you have upgraded version then only you can scroll up to two or three or 162 so what i would say is that what i have done if i have found like relevant keywords is if I have got like competing products less than a thousand and it, if it was making sense I would copy it I would I would take a spreadsheet and I would paste it and I will use it okay you know what I'm saying so this is an example obviously it is a very competitive uh, niche that's why you are not getting good uh, keywords over here from this tool from the free version but if you will take the niche as I had discussed in my other videos of the taking particular niche uh, taking examples so if you'll go through this video then you will get to see that how this is all making sense so this is the thing how i do my uh, keyword from this particular tool but now the other thing is that which is very important is the word frequency okay now what is word frequency word frequency is the something that a particular word is appearing over and again and it is something which a customer is typing on the search box of the amazon and they are getting the results okay so in that case what i will do is i will export it in, into my uh, laptop and then i will go ahead and i will use those books with higher frequency in my seven keyword uh, boxes not all seven i will take just one and i will use some highly frequently used words in that particular box okay 
so this is how i make use of this tool uh, you can make use of this tool as well you will get to search results every single day so this was all about seri pro okay now i'm going to do the magnet i will open it in a new tab and this is completely direct one i will show you how so let it be so this is mermaid coloring book right i am just taking only this one example or i can take some another one as well let's go to some another one let's go to let's go to dinosaur coloring book okay i will copy its title and i will go ahead and here you can see that you can also get two uh, searches every single day for the free version i will enter one keyword so my keyword is dinosaur coloring book for kids i will get keywords once i will do that i will get to see the keywords over here related to dinosaur coloring book okay so now you can see the magnet iq score the more the better search volume exactly that i had discussed earlier comparating products similarly you have to go ahead and you have to check less than or equal to thousand so if you can see that you can use this like 348 here it is 348 and the keyword is avengers books for kids ages 8 to 10 so clearly you cannot use it why and it does not it, if it is if you cannot use it it does not mean this tool is bad or something like that no why because first of first of all we are picking the best sellers we are picking the highly competitive products that's why it is showing such kind of highly competitive products over here but once you have done your niche result you can surely go ahead and you can use the uh, this tool at its fullest okay so what I was saying is that you cannot use Avengers books for kids 8 to 10 because of two reasons. First reason, it is not making any sense to the dinosaur. And the second thing is that even if it is making sense according to you, Avenger is a kind of trademark word. And in my previous videos, I had already explained to you guys that in the title and subtitle video, I guess, I had clearly told you that you cannot use such words which belongs to some another author or another comic or another video or another book or anything else which is entitled to someone someone else okay so obviously you cannot use it now let's go ahead and let, let's look into some another one this one is thousand if this one is also thousand dino book for kids three to five you can use it for sure because it is thousand and it make it is making any sense um the it is 1000 construction coloring book uh, obviously construction coloring book is not making any sense to me for the dinosaur so yeah i would not use it but i will surely use this one that is uh, dino books um let's see if i missed anything else yeah this one this one is thousand dinosaur king coloring book you can use it as well if you want uh what else the 675 is oversized coloring oversized coloring is means if you are using 8.5 into 11 size that is the standard size to the oversize so in that case you can use this keyword as well uh let's go to okay that's all i think these are the some keywords that i found and you can use it you can just go ahead and make a spreadsheet put it up and you can use it so i hope this is making sense if it's making sense let me know in the comment section below if you have any other question let me know in the comment section below if you enjoyed in this video let me know in the comment section and please guys keep supporting and i will see you in the next video Bye bye